Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I am going to explain you Fermi Dirac distribution function. Let me explain you the meaning of that function first. See, Fermi Dirac distribution function explains you what is the probability of existence of electron at given energy state. Again, Fermi Dirac distribution function that explains what? probability of existence of electrons at given energy state. Let me take one practical example. After that, I'll explain you this function, right? So here, if you observe, we are having semiconductor material, right, of silicon. And here we are having energy band diagram. See, this is valence band and this is conduction band, right? Now, see this, this semiconductor material, let us consider this semiconductor material that is there at 0 Kelvin temperature. So, at 0 Kelvin temperature, all these electrons are valence electrons, right? So, there is no free electrons. So, you can say at 0 Kelvin, all the electrons will be there in valence band. Now, what we do is, we will be increasing temperature. So, as if you increase the temperature, what will happen? these electrons will break covalent bond. Let me take one example. Let us say this electron is getting free over here. Let us say this electron that is getting free over here, right, from here. So, now let me note it down. This is free electron, right. So, what will happen? Here, there will be hole. Here, there will be hole, right. So, here, there will be hole. So, in energy band diagram, if you observe this electron now that is getting free means from here, from here electron will move in conduction band. So, now you can say here we are having free electron, right. And here what will happen now? Here there will be hole. Here there will be hole. So, at varieties of temperature what will happen? As you increase the temperature, more electrons of valence band that will move towards conduction band. And Fermi direct distribution function explains what? At different energy state, at different energy state, what is the probability of electrons? Like as if I say, what is the probability of electron at EF? If I say, what is the probability of electron at this energy state, let us say E dash. At this energy state, E double dash, what is the probability of electron? That estimation, that estimation can be done with the use of Fermi direct distribution function. And that I will explain you practically even. So, now let us see the function first. So, here, if you observe, see this Fermi direct distribution function that is f of e that gives the probability of finding particle here we will be talking about electrons only so probability of finding electrons with given energy state at particular temperature and that will be 1 divided by 1 plus e to the power e minus ef divided by kt where this e that is the energy at which we want to find probability of existence of electron and ef that is Fermi level energy. This small k that is Boltzmann's constant and this T that is temperature in terms of Kelvin. See this F of E that is Fermi direct distribution function and that is a probability. So, obviously F of E that will be ranging from 0 to 1 only. Probability is ranging in between 0 to 1 only. So, F of E that is a probability of existence of electron at given energy state E. Now, to understand that, I will show you some case studies first. So, here what I will do is, I will be going to consider temperature T is equals to 0 Kelvin. Now, at this temperature, at this temperature, let us assume, let us assume if E is greater than E f, then what will happen? So, let us estimate this f of E. So, this f of E, that will be 1 divided by 1 plus, now you see e to the power e minus e f. So, e minus e f where e is greater than e f. So, numerator 
that will be positive over here divided by temperature is 0. So, divided by 0. So, e to the power positive infinity. e to the power positive infinity is infinity and this infinity is there in denominator. So, 1 divided by infinity means 0. So, as if t is equals to 0 means at 0 Kelvin temperature. If e is greater than e f then probability of electron existence will be 0. Now, you see practically that is happening over here. See at as if you talk about at t is equals to 0 Kelvin right where e is let us say e is e double dash which is which is greater than e f right let us say e is single dash over here e is single dash which is greater than e f so you see this is e f right now e dash that is higher than e f so all the electrons will be there in valence band at t is equals to 0 so at e dash what is the probability of existence of electron obviously it will be it will it will be zero only the reason is all the electrons will be there in valence band Right. Now, let us consider second scenario. So, here let me consider if E is lower than E f. Let me consider if E is lower than E f. So, what will happen? You see probability of electron at energy E. Now, that will be 1 divided by 1 plus you see E minus E f where E is lower than E f. So, this term will be negative. So, E to the power negative divided by temperature is 0. So, divided by 0. So, 1 divided by 1 plus e to the power minus infinity. e to the power minus infinity is 0. So, this term will become 0. So, 1 divided by 1 plus 0. So, that will be 1. So, as if you have energy which is lower than E f, then at time at temperature t is equals to 0 Kelvin, probability will be 1 that will be highest. You can observe here. See, at t is equals to 0 Kelvin, if I say E double dash which is lower than E f. So, below E f, below E f, probability of existence of electron that will be highest. The reason is all the electrons will be there in valence band. So, below E f, below E f, estimation of electrons, estimation of electrons means probability that will be highest the reason is all the electrons will be there in valence band right now let me show you that graphically so that will give you more clarity so here if you observe see this red color that is shown for at zero kelvin now you see as if energy is there vertically right and you see ef is over here so above ef above ef means if e is greater than ef probability is 0 at 0 Kelvin and you see here probability is there with horizontal line and as if E is greater than sorry E is less than E f right means below E f probability is 1 over here you can observe here it is 1. So, with red color here probability is 0 and directly below E f probability is 1 right. And now, if you observe what I have done is by this green color, I have increased the temperature at 300 Kelvin. Now, this graph is like this, right? At 600 Kelvin means if I am further increasing the temperature, then this graph will become like this. And that is happening as per this function only. That is happening as per this function only, right? Now, now let us try to understand few scenarios. The reason is we have seen it for 0 Kelvin, but what will happen as if you have increase in temperature right so for that if i consider one case study over here and this is what i am considering it for e dash so if you talk about e dash which is greater than e f then you see here we are having three points this is point number one this is point number two and this is point number three right now if you observe see this red color that belongs to 0 Kelvin. Then what we are doing? We are increasing temperature. This blue color that belongs to 300 Kelvin. And this green color point 
at this e dash you see that is there at 600 kelvin so what is happening you see as you increase the temperature as you increase the temperature above ef above ef right means e dash is greater than ef as you increase the temperature above ef probability of electron will increase as you increase the temperature you see over here probability is zero now with 300 probability is bit more at 600 probability is increasing over here so as if e dash is greater than ef as if e dash that is greater than ef and as if you increase the temperature then probability of electron existence will increase and that you can easily understand over here you see all the electrons will be there in valence band as you increase the temperature from valence band electrons will move towards conduction band so as you increase the temperature above ef above ef probability of electron existence will increase right now let us consider second scenario you see now let us consider below ef right so i am going to draw a line over here you see and let us say this is e double dash which is lower than ef so here also we are having three points this is point one this is point two and this is point b see this green color that belongs to 600 kelvin this blue color that belongs to 300 kelvin and this red color that belongs to zero kelvin so as you increase the temperature as you increase the temperature see what is happening as you increase the temperature probability of electron existence will decrease you see as you increase the temperature probability of electron existence is decreasing so obviously that is the case which is happening as you increase the temperature from valence band electrons will move towards conduction band so above ef electron ex electron probability will increase and below ef electron probability will decrease see that is how this entire theorem is there now one more essential thing that you need to note down here see here if you observe this point if you observe this point let me take another color if you observe this point then what is happening at this point at this point all the all the graphs are connected to each other so this is a point which is ef point that you can say horizontally and vertically if you observe then probability is half so here at fermi level at fermi level electron probability is half existence of electron probability at fermi level is half I have seen questions are coming in competitive examination based on statement. So, there can be a statement based question like at Fermi level, what is the probability of existence of electron? That is half. Why? The reason is you see all these lines are getting coincided over here. And if you see vertically over here, over this probability, then that will be half over here. And that can be understood based on this Fermi direct distribution function. So, I think now you are having fair enough idea about what is this function and what is the basic meaning of it. Still, if anything that I like to share, please note it down in the comment section. I will be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.